Hi, my name is Seema. I'm a financial planner with Great Eastern Life. I joined this industry two years ago as a mid-career switch uh, in the heart of the pandemic. So at the beginning of my career as a financial planner, I found it a struggle to sort of cross uh, the 20 to 30k mark in FYC and I think one of my biggest challenges was I had difficulty and inertia approaching my uh, warm market. I also found that the new freedom I had because of the flexible working time meant that my time was actually shared with so many people and I didn't have control over my time and therefore I wasn't able to actually effectively uh, work as a financial planner. So not being able to hit my uh, production goals actually gave me quite a lot of stress, uh, both on the home front and the work front. I felt that I was on a constant uh, race to try and meet my targets. I was never present with my family. They all did see that uh, I was facing some stress, but I wasn't able to articulate um, what it was. Um, so that was the first year uh, as a financial advisor. Um, so the MDRT is uh, something every advisor speaks about when you join the industry. Um, to me, it seemed like uh, those who were hitting the MDRT were either in the business for quite some time or they seemed to be um, hitting very big cases, uh, both of which I didn't have. Uh, and so I found that to be a self-limiting belief of sorts because I felt that I wasn't able to do this unless I had clocked a certain number of years in the business or if I had um, high net worth clients. Um, so I wasn't able to uh, cross this belief um, of trying to hit the MBRT. The reason I decided to uh, take action was because um, it, this is a mid-career switch. I'm already in my late 30s, so I feel that I have joined the business late. I didn't want to um, sit around and I didn't have time to sort of experiment uh, in the industry. So I thought I had to uh, give it my best shot and do it while um, I, have, I still have the enthusiasm and energy to learn uh, and that's why I decided to join Break the Limits. After joining Break the Limits, I realised that uh, both the challenges I faced uh, with regards to approaching the war market and not being able to hit my production goals were interlinked because my war market actually did have many people who were um, what I would call uh, people who had big ticket purchasing power and I wasn't utilising them. And uh, so. By joining Break the Limits, I managed to overcome my um, self-limiting belief of uh, not being um, comfortable to approach uh, my warm market. So I overcame this belief and as a result, I was able to actually do business with my warm market. It didn't feel awkward anymore and uh, in that way, I actually managed to also hit my production goals. In the beginning, when I approached clients, I felt that they were doing me a favour uh, meeting me or they were supporting my business uh, but I think uh, what I managed to overcome was I realized that I was actually giving them valuable advice uh, something that they didn't have to pay for and uh, I was actually doing them a big favor and once I changed this belief I realized that it wasn't difficult to ask for um, annual premiums it wasn't difficult to close bigger cases and I also realized that people were more willing to give me referrals because they trusted me and uh, they therefore wanted me to benefit their friends and family as well. So business became easier just because I uh, changed some of these beliefs. So when I first joined the industry, uh, I realised that there was a lot of stigma attached to being a financial planner. Um, joining Break the Limits has also made me realise that I can move from a space of be, uh, being in shame to pride and uh, that was actually a big transformation for me because it made me feel proud that I was actually uh, doing what I'm doing and uh, that I was able to actually give advice that people that changed people's lives and that made me um, confident, more confident, uh, more proud of what I do and uh, therefore I feel uh, more comfortable in uh, saying that I'm actually a financial planner these days. What I like about Break the Limits is the very informal approach that's being um, taken to coach uh, because we a lot of it is actually uh, ground up initiatives and very unconventional ways in which we would uh, approach everyday situations. Uh, so um, very often as an advisor, if we go to our regular meetings, we know we have certain production targets to meet and we are told um, what our sales tools are, uh, but we get to use them uh, without realizing that we are using them in Break the Limits because there is this very uh, community generated sort of events that happen and that uh, make us more comfortable in uh, overcoming the inertia that we actually have. 
So as a person, I've actually developed through Break, Break the Limits and I realised that it's also impacted my production. Um, from being a 30k producer, I actually uh, did manage to hit my MDRT within six months of joining Break the Limits and I think it is also because I have um, learned from Break the Limits how to actually develop a pattern, uh, a working style that um, suits me and um, to um, that enhances uh, my uh, productivity and it's helped me be more consistent with my production and I think my attitude to work has also changed because it doesn't just um, teach me how to be um, how do I behave at work but also how do I um, handle family work and um, my social front at the same time so um, I think Break the Limits has actually transformed me as a person more than as a planner. So we are often told that um, winning is a habit, losing is also a habit and I didn't want to make um, constant failure become a part of me and I wanted to make sure that um, I am putting my best foot forward and I had all the tools that uh, ensured that I succeeded. Um, <clears throat> so um, investing in Break the Limits at this point in my career was important to me to realise that um, you know whether this career is for me or not um, and at least I know that I've tried and, I, uh, and I'm glad I made this uh, move actually. One of the reasons why I decided to invest in Break the Limits is also because I felt that uh, as financial planners, we are responsible for the business that we run. And um, if we're not serious about our business, then nobody's going to be serious about us. And um, uh, taking this step with Break the Limits was a way of me telling myself that I'm actually serious about the business because there's an upfront investment. And um, with that investment, um, I wanted to ensure that I had hit my own ROIs. So I, I was able to actually uh, invest both my time and resources along with Break the Limits and then be able to see that uh, my investment actually came to fruition. So I believe I made back my um, investment with Break the Limits within two months of uh, joining the program. And in fact, if I calculate based on um, hitting my MDRT in six months, that's already 400% um, ROI. In, uh, in this um, six months. So I joined Break the Limits because um, at the outset I found that uh, the program actually spoke the language I wanted to hear. I was struggling with a mindset issue and uh, the program uh, fulfilled that need. Um, it wasn't going to teach me um, sales strategies which I already knew and what I really like about the program is that there is a consistent um, follow-up uh, on a weekly basis so the coaching is actually very consistent uh, and therefore there are regular check-ins uh, which I normally don't get with uh, most other programs which are one-off uh, workshop or sessions. If you're still undecided about joining the BTL program, um, think of the last time you uh, advised your client to actually get life protection and they said they are sitting on it because they need some time to think. And then ask yourself, would you want to be that person who's actually refused uh, something that's good that's offered to you just because you want more time to think? Uh, because the year will pass, another year will pass, and if you don't make any change, you will not expect a different result. So um, have faith and um, take the leap of faith with BTL.